Rich niches, how to choose niches that will line your pockets with cash. So let's get into discovering niche ideas. And the very first resource I want to talk to you about is Amazon.com, their best sellers list. You can get good physical product niche ideas by checking out the Amazon best sellers list. You can browse the best selling products in any category. And another thing you may want to take a look at for niche ideas is the table of contents of the best-selling books by using the Look Inside feature on Amazon.com. There are sub-niches galore to be discovered inside the tables of contents of these books. Now, resource number two is OfferVault.com. You can search CPA offers that will give you plenty of niche ideas at OfferVault.com. And one of the best parts about OfferVault is that you don't even have to search for anything to get profitable niche ideas. Right when you land on the site, you'll see the offers that are paying the highest per lead. And if an offer is making people money at OfferVault, chances are it's a profitable niche for you to check out. And resource number three is magazines.com. For hobby niche ideas, check out magazines.com and browse the various categories. If there's enough interest in a subject and there's a magazine based around it, then you may have a profitable niche on your hands. Also, if you happen to have a subscription to any of the magazines at magazines.com, then you can find great niche ideas by checking out the paid ads inside the magazine. Resource number four is going to be an old school one, and it's National Enquirer ads. The National Enquirer has some of the most expensive ad space of any print publication, so pay close attention to the ads you see inside each issue you read. If advertisers are paying that kind of money to run their ads, then the offer they're running must be hot. Take a look at what they're advertising in those mega expensive advertisements because where there are hot offers, there are hot niche ideas. Resource number five is eBay Pulse. You can get some great niche ideas by checking out eBay Pulse, which will tell you the most popular searches and trends on eBay. You can also browse the categories and stores on eBay to spark your niche ideas. The category sections is one of the most in-depth I've seen, so give it a look and see what niches are out there. Resource number six is going to be dummies.com. I'm sure you've seen the four dummies books over the years, and if a subject has profit potentials, then they make a book about it. What most internet marketers don't know is that dummies.com is an excellent place to get niche ideas by browsing the various four dummies books. Resource number seven is boardreader.com. One great way to find out what people are talking about on forums is by using a forum search engine like boardreader. You can type in a topic like weight loss and find out what people are talking about in various forum threads. Pay attention to the problems they're talking about and get niche ideas from them because people pay for solutions to problems they have. Resource number nine is going to be Flippa.com. Flippa is a massive marketplace for buying and selling websites. As you look through Flippa, pay attention to the expensive sites and ones that are making a profit, because if those sites are making a profit, then why can't you have a site in the same niche that makes you a profit as well? You can actually reverse engineer these websites in a way to find out how their links were built, what type of content they have, and who their audience is by using a tool like Quancast.com. Resource number nine is the ClickBank Marketplace. If you're a digital products marketer, then you no doubt already know about ClickBank.com and the ClickBank Marketplace. Besides internet marketing related pro products, the ClickBank Marketplace is a great place to find niches based on gravity. Each product in the marketplace has a gravity score, which is a measurement of how many affiliates have had success promoting that product. So you can find some profitable niches by looking at the products with the highest gravity. Resource number 10 is going to be jvzoo.com. 
JVZoo.com is a newer affiliate network, but growing by leaps and bounds every single day. In fact, I predict it will become one of the major affiliate networks for digital goods across all niches, so you should join it and take a look at the products in the marketplace. The best part about JVZoo is you can see the dollar per click or the earnings per click of each product, so the higher the EPC, the higher converting it is. Products with the highest EPCs may give you good ideas for niches that have high converting products. Resource number 11 is going to be pay.com.com. You can find niche ideas by also browsing the pay.com marketplace. Pay.com.com is another digital products affiliate network like ClickBank and JVZoo, and it's bigger than JVZoo yet smaller than ClickBank. The best niche ideas you can get from Pay.com will come from the top sellers section. Resource number 12 is going to be recurring TV infomercials. You may or not be a fan of infomercials, but nonetheless they are great for conjuring up great niche ideas. When you see an infomercial running multiple times, then chances are that infomercial is profitable. Try to figure out who the ideal customer is for that product. You can actually promote many of these products you see in infomercials through CPA networks like WolfStormMedia.com. Resource number 13 is going to be Google Trends. You'll get a good idea of what topics are hot at any given moment by using Google Trends. It's also a good idea to type in subjects such as weight loss into Google Trends because you'll find related news articles. You can get some great niche ideas from those news articles. And just be aware that trends come and go, obviously, so you may not want to base an entire business on trends. Resource number 14 is going to be Yahoo Answers. When you're looking to find out what kind of problems people are having and what solutions they're looking for, Yahoo Answers can be an almost magical tool. If you have no idea what you're looking for, then you can browse categories to find potential niche ideas. If you have a question in mind, then type it into the search box to see what related questions people are asking and try to find the most pressing problems. Resource number 15 is Shopping.com. Shopping.com is where consumers go to compare products and you'll get niche ideas by exploring their list of the most popular products and popular pages. Here's one I found that I never would have thought of on my own, which is wedding corsages. This niche looks to be very popular and I never would have found it without Shopping.com. Resource number 16 is Yahoo Shopping. Yahoo Shopping can give you great ideas for profitable niches with their Shopping Insider articles. Looking at the front page right now, I'm getting ideas for prom styles and Valentine's gifts. Browse articles by category and you'll end up with a good list of possible niches. Resource number 17 is going to be EzineArticles.com. Although EzineArticles.com got drilled by Google's Panda update, it's still a massive resource for niche ideas for you to take a look at. You'll get niche ideas by browsing different categories and seeing what these authors are writing about. If a particular author has many posts, pay attention to what subject he or she is writing about because nobody writes that many articles for no reason. There may be profit potential there and you should examine that. Resource number 18 is going to be the Google Keyword Tool. The Google Keyword Tool can be used to find sub-niches galore. Do a search on Google for the Google Keyword Tool to pull it up. When you have a keyword like weight loss, type it into the Google Keyword Tool, then select only show ideas closely related to my search terms. You'll start to see long tail keywords related to the keyword that will begin to dig deeper and find sub-niches. Resource number 19 is AdSense Sandbox. The AdSense Sandbox is a fun site that will show you AdSense ads that are running on sites related to the subject you submit. When you see the ads that are running and what products and services are being promoted, you should start getting good niche ideas. Pay close attention to the similarities of products 
because you may be onto something if you see the same type of product over and over again. Resource number 20 is BottomLinePublications.com. If you're looking for niche ideas related to health in particular, then Bottom Line Publications is an excellent resource. When you go to the site, browse the subjects of their books and newsletters because they are big time direct marketers. If these niches are responsive to their direct marketing tactics, then they may be responsive to yours as well. And resource 21 is MixRank.com. MixRank will show you PPC ads that are running in various niches when you submit an advertiser, keyword, or publisher into the field. The best part is MixRank, MixRank will tell you how long an ad has been running. The longer an ad has been running, generally the more profitable that offer is. So you can see how you can get some niche ideas that are more likely to be profitable. There's a free and paid version, but the paid version is unnecessary with what we're trying to accomplish here. Now, that racks up. That'll conclude our 21 different sites for discovering niche ideas. And in the next video, we're going to show you how to break those different ideas down into niches that you can get into.